here's here's what we have learned about the GT in the wild. It is a monster. It can climb hills like none other. Uh, here's some footage of Jeff, and you should go to Float Life uh, YouTube channel Jeff and give McCosker. him some love. Yeah, yeah, here he is on the GT in the wild. Uh, look at this. He just smashes yeah, the awesome. incline. And to me, that was the best footage we could find of a hill because oh I was gosh, just like, like, he's having so much fun. That hill, like for those that are watching, this is a podcast style. It's a concrete incline. And it is severe. I have no idea the gradient or the grade Aww. of said hill. He doesn't seem to have any trouble. Black, Not a struggle. Black Outer 57 says you look so handsome with your beard. That is so kind. Wow. He's from Sweden, I think. Thank you. That I do. I'm watching so a Viking show a at the beard. moment. I am watching a Viking show at the moment. What's it and called? I don't remember I don't what the know. name of it is. Oh, come on, But guys. you Vikings. fit right in with the Yeah, Vikings. when I see the show with the beards, it does make me like the beard. Wish I had the long hair to be a Viking. Skull. But they like and have the their big, hair big pulled muscles. back. I mean, this is yeah, not. Yeah, they're ripped like me. Big, big muscles. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, so uh, so the, let's just roll that footage again. No idea incline, but it is substantial. I would willing. Now, I wish I could have seen it with an XR to really see if an XR, but I think an XR would struggle on that. I mean, he just smashes it. Like, there's plenty of nose left to ground. Like, he could just get up at no problem. Yeah, so that's, that's, exciting that's exciting to me. The power that they talked about, Bodie and Jeff, repeatedly was tremendous. Uh, so I'm stoked on that side of things. Uh, the the nose drag, this is Bodie. I just, again, I applaud you, Bodie, for the nose drag. Look at this, Lily. Have you seen this? Watch this. No, this is this is intense. This is him just for it here. If you don't know his nose drag, there it is. He's trying to get it and then run it up. Like, just go, go, go. Wow, that Gone. is... Gone. Like, that's crazy yeah. to me. That's impressive. Yeah. Yeah, what? It doesn't. It, that, that is crazy. I don't think that's, that's crazy. I can't oh, even begin to wrap my brain around how like to do it. that. I just... It's scary. I, and he's all like... He's got his hands up. Like, for what, Bodie? For what? Like... To catch yourself when you fly off that thing. I mean, it's really talented, but it freaks me out. Does it freak any of you out? That's like, on my that's my on my list. My hands are sweating year. right now to think thinking of doing that. This is that is on my Scary. list this year to to do to ride. You're gonna try that trick. I want to nail that trick this year, but but right now we yeah, live me. in the tundra of Minnesota, and you cannot try that because there's like ice chunks on the roads. Would Very not be dangerous. Wise. But that's on my list of tricks. I have like five tricks this summer. I'm trying to. Land in like in Minnesota. Actually, I told Lily, Lily, should we do what we said? Like, Bodie, if you're watching, here's my invitation to you. I will pay you to come out here and teach us three tricks, tricks in a day, and we'll film it. Three we'll, tricks in one day. Four, five, it's gonna be five a long tricks. day. What? <laughs> and you're upping it. <laughs> and you're like adding, eight, twelve. Yeah. Well, I only say that because it's gonna take him forever to teach us. Okay, well, so Bodie, me. Bodie, would you come, Lily? What would be the number one trick you would learn? Right in the chat. What uh, What is the number one trick you would like to learn? Next? I want to learn. All right. Okay. So I, I want there First, to be. Do you like, know the name of this trick? No, I have no idea. I want there <laughs> to be like an obstacle in my way that I, I can throw the one wheel under, jump over said obstacle, and land on the one wheel. That's sick. Uh, Bodie, I think I could do that if you are willing to teach me. Yeah, uh, I don't know the truth. That is sweet. Lily Better did try to do pads. this once. We should have brought the yeah, footage of it. Pads. Lily, I tried. Joey and I were racing in the woods, and she saw a tree limb over the trail, and she goes up to it with all confidence, like, I'm going to do that. I'm going to let the one wheel go underneath the tree, and then I'm going to jump over the tree and land on the one wheel and continue. It did not happen, folks. <laughs> okay. So that nose drag's impressive. I, I just, that was yeah. impressive. Bodhi talked about how like you really had to smash down, like it was fighting him to do such. But we're gonna get to the app in a second. The app for the GT is one of the best the, updates is, in the app. Is it the one wheel app? Yeah, in the okay. one wheel app, you can change the settings. You no longer have mission and delirium. You have a lot of different settings for your GT that you don't have on the other ones. And so I don't remember all of them, but they're they're just different names, and you're gonna. We all have to try to figure out which one's closest to Mission or Delirium. And then there's one that's like above Delirium. I don't know what it's called, but it's it just you know goes from buttery smooth to really aggressive. Uh, pushback. Let's talk about this. Like we we 
We may or may not have gotten a little bit of trouble last week by a lot of people saying we use clickbait. We did talk about GT's pushback last week, and then we got stuck on what is pushback. There is pushback on the GT. What we've learned from those that have dropped the footage about the pushback, it is very similar to the pint pushback. Maybe not as severe, but here's footage of Jeff riding. He said around 20 miles an hour is where he felt the pushback, and then he could get to 22. Just watch the nose come up. And then you'll see where he really pulls away because whoever, I would assume it's Bodie filming on an XR, didn't keep up anymore. Okay, nose is level, level. And watch, he's starting to creep up there. There's the pushback. No, thank you. I wonder how fast he's going. In Does the he video, say? he's doing about 22 miles an hour. Oh, no chance. See, he's now Now there's where you know. He, he, we didn't finish the footage of it, but he's still pulling away at that point. So he's wow. getting more miles out of it, but it's not as fast as I was hoping to hear. Like what were you hoping for? What do you mean it's not as fast? Like, like well, twenty two miles push, isn't is it fast? Yeah, I would have just I just thought that I would see or experience pushback maybe later. Yeah, twenty three, twenty four. I was hoping twenty five miles an hour. You approach the thirty miles an hour, but I get it. I understand. That is like, so fast. That's like how fast I drive through neighborhoods. Yeah, and I get it though. For like <laughs> one wheel as a company, That's reality check right there. <laughs> yeah, like they sh they don't need to create a device that one wheel. Uh, that like isn't created equally for all mankind because he, Lily probably shouldn't go 30 miles an hour. Holly probably shouldn't Definitely go. Definitely shouldn't go 30 miles. <laughs> yeah, we talked last week. Holly's trying to get into one wheeling. My wife, you know, she's trying to get after it. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm totally into one wheeling. You are. So how many miles did you put on this week since last podcast? It's still in the middle of tundra season. And what do you have to say back, Holly? <laughs> well, I said earlier I was going to say, well, which one is my one wheel? Baby, all of them are yours. <laughs> what is mine is yours. We, in right. our marriage, it, we answer, are one. Scott. We do. Yeah. I mean, we, yes. Okay. I mean, you can drive the Jeep if you can drive stick. See, this I is can you, drive stick. Holly knows how to turn it on. Yep. Yeah, she the does. Jeep. Like, like, that's a whole other topic, another podcast. Because <laughs> I don't think day. she knew it. I had to teach her how to turn it on. I was like shouting well, from a shower one time. Push the clutch. In. Which one's the clutch? That's the awesome. clutch is to the left. <laughs> and she did it. That's awesome. You still would have to yeah. tell me what to Check do. Check mark for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, we are just messing around. Wait, I see it. Hey, Scott, I recently came across your channel and been hooked on your Welcome. race videos. Awesome content. God, you like have it, you heard Jen? of Jake? Is that Larry? Larry's concerns regarding the battery issue on the GT. Oh, um, yeah. Okay, so I did hear that. Like, Float Life, they talk about how they only got ten miles out of their charge. Now, is that because it was the initial charge on the the GT? What what was the cause? What was the reason? That was less than twenty four hours ago. So I don't know all the causes and reasons, Jeff from flow life is like very wise or, or intelligent when it comes to all things one wheel and controls and batteries so he he didn't seem too bothered he's like maybe it's got to charge overnight i know that they went out and riding today i'm sure we'll hear more on that uh but i've heard a little bit on that but I, i'm not concerned about it yet i think just like if again it depends how long you've been around in the one wheel community uh, we we talked we filmed yesterday uh, a video about the growler I'm not even going to talk about that right now. I'll wait for that review to come out. But you, in the growler, I was talking about the evolution of one wheels. You started out with the OG one wheel that was like five miles in range, and it was just cool. It was an introduction to the whole deal. It was the Kickstarter. Then it came out the Plus, had a little bit more torque, a little bit more power, a little bit more range. It's probably comparable to range in, in, in things of to the original pint. And then you go from the Plus to the XR, which was a lot more put together. It was a more polished thing. The look of it looked the same as the Plus and the original with slight foot pad upgrades and things. And so you you see the evolution of all of these. And as you go from the Plus, they released it. And as more riders rode it, then they released or pushed out a update for the one wheel, which made it ride better. If you if you didn't know, when it comes to the app for the one wheel, I think it was Gemini was the first app uh, or second app for it. And so I think with the GT, and I was expecting this already, they're going to get it out to the public with probably an okay 
system in it, knowing that they can update it as they get more information from the apps and writers, and then they'll push out an update that will make it even better would be my thought. I know, again, in the tech world, when I talk about video cameras, the camera that I am looking at at the moment, we purchased it within a couple months, brand new update, firmware update, and it started doing all the functionalities that it was promised. My drones, you DGI releases them all the time, and then they always have a firmware update three months in, four months in, and all of a sudden it, it becomes this drone that you're like, wow, that's amazing you can do those things. So I'm sure, again, I'm not talking to one wheel on that, but I'm sure that that's what they're going to do. If you're do. watching and you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so. We would love you to subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Like turn on the bell notification.